The LA Lakers. This game was so crazy, man. Like, it was to the point where you never know who was gonna win. The Grizzlies kept going. They, they got up, and the Lakers were up by like 12 points, and they came back. And then the Grizzlies just, you know, kept pushing with them. But the Lakers hang on. They, they were, you know, making John Morant stay down a little bit. You know, he had like that wrist problem. LeBron activated, you know, LeBron mode in the fourth quarter. He was driving, making shots. He had 20, 20 plus rebounds in the game. That is a lot of rebounds. And to see AD doesn't ha didn't have a lot of points. He had like 12 points. But he did good on Jackson. He did had good blocks. But Jaron Jackson, he had a ton of blocks on Lakers. But in the final minutes, when it came down to the last plays in the fourth quarter, LeBron drove it and got high off the glass so uh, Jackson couldn't block it. And he tied the game to go to overtime. And the fact that... The fact that the Grizzlies could have won this game in the fourth quarter if they just played better defense, it, it would have been much more easier for them. But they lacked their defensive effort. And the Lakers, they were tired. Both teams were tired in overtime. But the Lakers kept going. And Dylan Brooks was so quiet that game. He had a couple points, didn't really do anything. And that final, those final stages of the game, LeBron had the ball and Dylan Brooks is on him, you know, close up on him and he was just guarding him. And then LeBron just drove right by him with the contact in the end when he flexed on him. So that was like a reminder. So Dylan Brooks, I'm going to tell you now, stop with the, the you're, you're, you know, a dog. Like, you're not him. You Stay humble. You're not there yet. LeBron is there. He, he already passed the, the line for you. And the Lakers, their energy-wise, I'm so glad they won this game because if they would have lost this game, it would have been tough because the Grizzlies would have went back home and won that game, like, for sure. But the Lakers had a good collective win. D'Angelo Russell in the fourth quarter, if it wasn't for D'Angelo Russell, I don't see the Lakers winning that game because in the fourth quarter, D'Angelo Russell was making... He had, they were down like seven points and with like three minutes left. And he had like nine points in two minutes just making the three pointers. He fouled out, but he those last minutes for him were so important for the Lakers that they, they he made those three pointers and they were up by one point. And that just gave them a little more energy, a little more little more cushion so they can, you know, do something. And Austin Reeves, you know, he was just balling out. Um, he drove, drop. He he is amazing at making fouls, drawing contact. Um, Malik Beasley, eh, he had like a, you know, not the best. He really didn't get in the game much. Kind of struggling. Fairnerville, he started the game off pretty good. Helped the Lakers start off. But at the end, it's always the king that helps the team wheel it to the last minute. And that's what LeBron did. I mean, he carried them to the last minute, making the shot, making making that tough layup, and then just finishing off. I mean, Jar is hurt, but that's not an excuse. The Lakers, the, the Grizzlies are way better um, to me with 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 and without John Moran. They have won a lot of games without John Moran. And the Lakers just went through it and they fought through it and they just won with their team. So that was a good team win. They're going to Grizzlies. Hopefully the Lakers can like put it out put it out that game. But I don't know. But this game was exciting. That's what I gotta say about it. And I'm out.